Welcome back to Good as Gold Sport Horses. My name's Jen, and this big handsome guy behind me is Mambo number five. He is a coming four-year-old Dutch stallion, and uh, he's my buddy and partner. I've had him since he was about six months old, bought him as a three-month-old, and had him um, shipped at six months from Canada down to Georgia, where we lived at the time. So, welcome to our farm, and we're happy to share our adventures with you and uh, just kind of daily farm life. I'll also introduce you to our dairy goats. This is Taylor. She's a registered Nubian. And this little one here is Maybelline. We raised her and her brother from the time they were born. We lost their mama in birth. So she's our baby. She's almost a year old. She is a Nigerian dwarf. This big girl here is Wendy. She is a registered Alpine and she is due in about a week and a half. And this little one over here, this is Ygritte. She is another registered Nigerian dwarf. She's about a year old. We'll be breeding her in the uh, summertime for fall babies. So Maybelline has been trained to do a trick. Come in. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where she learned that. <laughs> These are our friends and neighbors. They board their horses here with us. This is Scott and Molly. Hi. And Scott is the one that trained Maybelline to do tricks. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> and these are our handsome bucks. The one in the back is Lord Tyrion, aka Stinky. He is a registered Nigerian dwarf. He is Maybelline's father. This little guy here is Dexter. This is Maybelline's brother, Stinky's son. And this handsome dude here is another registered Nigerian dwarf. His name is Gimli. Now we have the electric tape around their horns. I have um, castrating bands on their horns. And then the uh, electric tape to hold the bands in place. This is one way of taking horns off of a goat who was not disbutted as a kid. Um, you can also take them to the vet and the vet will saw or cut them off um, or you can do it this way we've had we've had success doing it this way doesn't seem to hurt them um, it takes a little bit longer but it's a you know I like the slower process maybe less trauma less bleeding I'm not sure we shall see I should mention the bucks are in today because it's just way too wet and muddy in their pen outside so i let them hang out where it's dry for a while i'll go back out tomorrow and this sweet little thing this is mambo's daughter this is vala she is out of our registered and illusion mare bella Voila. She's the spitting image of her papa. Same personality. Super fun loving, goofy, very easy to work with. We're very excited for her. And this is Mr. Tom Tom. Our rescued Tom Turkey. He's about three years old now. Has a bum foot, so he mostly spends his days sitting like this. But he seems happy. And then the chicken crew. We raise those. These are blue laced red wine oats. And then we have 
This guy here is a uh, lavender Orpington. We also raised a couple of those. This little guy here, this is Mustachio. He has moved all over the country with us. He's about nine years old now, I think. Eight, nine, something like that. And he's still kicking, he's an old dude. Let's see. Then we also have this crew over here eating out of the goat buckets. That is the um, roo and two hens. For, these are Easter eggers. We raise those. And somewhere around here, I have a blue Orpington. Okay, so we're out here. We've got one last piece that we need to finish on all of the fences here. The very end piece of my arena is missing a fence. I just never got it put up. So we're gonna go ahead and put that up so that I can turn the baby loose in the arena and get some video of her having a good time. And yes, our arena, let me turn the camera around for you. Maybe. My arena is um, along the side of the road. I'll turn here this way. There you go, you can see the road behind me. It's very busy, very high traffic, so our horses are very well uh, traffic broke because of that. But everybody here in North Carolina is very friendly and they like to honk their horns at you as they go by, which can be a little difficult when you're working with young horses, but I guess it's good. It's good learning experience. Um, helps to prepare them for whatever comes our way in a show or when we're off the farm anywhere. So anyway, let's get to work on this fence. Thank you.